So you're planning your vacation, you want to visit Lake Como, you don't know where to go, there are the usual places, everybody is going to visit Bellagio. I know you guys love Chernobyl, but there are a few hidden gems that I want to talk to you about. So stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Thomas Love here from Well and Soul and today I want to share with you this hidden gem because I know plenty of tourists when they reach Lake Como they tend to go to the city center to have an aperitivo or to have lunch or dinner, whatever it is that you are into and then from there you will have to make a huge line there's always the line to get on the ferry boat or there's always the line if you want to go up with the funicolare to Brunate to have a fair view of a landscape from the mountain peak but there are also other spots that people do not know because only locals know about these hidden gems and so when you are walking from Como to all the way to Chernobyl I know you're getting there and it is a such a tiny and nice village and you want to spend time over there maybe that's the open air market or whatever but still it's super packed with people because people from the countryside can visit over the weekend because there are plenty of tourists but nobody knows that fairly close to Chernobyl it is the same municipality so it's still the town of Chernobyl if you go uphill on the mountains that's a place which is called Mount Bisbino, where you really have a very nice view from the top of the mountain. So mountain peak, it's fairly easy to reach if you have a car, otherwise just rent a car or a Vespa. And if you go up there, I used to go there when I was younger, just with my bike. And so I was cycling all the way uphill from Mount Bisbino. And that's the way that is called La Via degli Anti Monti Lariani. So you can have this hike on the mountain crest four kilometers as much as long as you want you can even reach Valdintelvi so I will show you right here because I went up there yesterday it was a bit hazy there was I don't know if it was a bit of fog or pollution or whatever so we didn't have a clear 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 view but I was able to record some some videos and to shoot some photos of the view for you to enjoy so let me know down here in the comments if it was clear enough if you need some indication on how to reach it uh, pay fair attention if you're driving there because the street it's quite narrow so it was not a case if I wanted to and if I went there on a Friday morning early morning because I wanted to avoid crossing and having to uh, put me sideways because there are cars coming up and down and the the road is so narrow so if you come from North America over there I know you are used to these wide roads going uphill uh, so you can use your trucks but here we are all using small cars because roads are narrow and so it requires a bit of a skill to drive up there but I really recommend you go and enjoy and you can even have some polenta or other dishes typical from the region uphill in one of the um, shelters there are a rifugio here and there every x kilometers along the way so it's a very nice hike you can have a very nice lunch and you escape from the city so no noise no traffic no pollution no crowds up there it's a paradise So with that, I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please remember to like it, share it on your social media, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any videos to come. And I guess I will see you later. Thank you. Bye-bye.